Now that we have seen how to create a standard sequence, let's go ahead and create a media sequence on top. Just click onto the Add Sequence button and choose the media sequence. You can set the caption, the script name, the volume, and the media player which should be used, media player 1 or media player 2. For now, I would like to choose a video, so I'm just choosing a video out of the browser and clicking the OK button. The really great thing is that the programmer will now generate a preview of the video on the bottom of the sequencer. As soon as you click onto the magnifier or use Ctrl plus the mouse wheel, you can zoom in or zoom out. And then the programmer will create even more preview pictures, so you have the highest resolution in terms of video preview to make a perfectly synchronized lighting show to a video file. Of course also in the media sequence, you can add an infinite amount of tracks and also add any kind of action event with an action on enter and an action on leave just like in the standard sequence. If you press play, the sequence will start and start the first cue list and stop it directly afterwards. On top it is possible to also use the media sequence to synchronize any kind of event to audio files. This is now sequence number 3 and we will choose the second media player and we will also choose an audio file. In this case a WAV file. Just click OK and the programmer will generate a waveform visualization of the audio track. Therefore the sequencer is the perfect solution for replaying audio files and lighting scenes together 100% in sync.